Hey boys, um, I decided to make a series of videos where I will be explaining um, how to push certain areas on labs. Because on stream I don't usually talk much about what's going on in my brain and what's the best approach to different places. And today we're going to talk about how to push elbow. I'm going to view this place from both sides, this one and the other one. So basically when I try to push this side I usually open this door and I ran through while looking to the right to see if there is anyone hiding behind the box or further in the corridor. You can either run through like this or you can run jump. It's up to you, depends what you prefer more. And um, if you don't see any enemies, it doesn't necessarily mean there is no one and you can openly push further. I would say a good idea would be to throw a nade off the blue wall. So it's simply this. Basically, this nade is gonna force people to move from around this area and they're gonna make noise. So this way you're gonna check if there's actually anyone um, inside. So anyone hiding behind those boxes, anyone standing here, sometimes people jump on the box and wait for you from this position. This nade will make them move. Second nade, which I recommend to do as well, is the nade of this box. So this nade, this nade works exactly the same way as the previous one, except it cleans this side. So after you threw both of the nades and you heard no sound, there is probably no one in here and you can push further. So first of all, when I approach the corner, I check if there is anyone right next to the wall next to those um, blue barrels right here and at the same time I check if there is anyone hiding behind the, the metal bar sometimes people actually hide behind it and they they just uh, they, they wait for you so by just pushing and watching those two positions you clear both of them at once next thing which I usually do um, I either throw a nade of this um, of this metal bar or a quick peek to see if there's anyone behind the box. But I would say the safer way is always to throw the nade first and listen to the sound. So you you need if you want to play laps properly, you need to learn this nade. So basically if you come if you come close and you ADS, you throw the nade. This nade usually lands um, somewhere around this area. Sometimes it goes further, sometimes it doesn't go that far, but in any way, if there is anyone behind the box and they hear the nade approaching, they're gonna move. And at that moment you can either push or take the position and uh, just wait for them to pick you. I would say the best way to push this corner is by throwing a couple of nades. So at first you throw the nade of, uh, of the metal bar, which will make people move away from the box. Throw the nade here to make sure they don't push here. And then you throw the last one of the door to make sure they don't come behind the box. So this is how you clear this box and uh, further on you either fight people in here. Usually they tend to close one of the doors and uh, you can either wait for them to push. Or you can take you can take this position. It's a really cheeky one. If they slowly push you, you have a massive advantage because you will see them moving through and you can predict where they are and just pre them from here which is an, an amazing position but I haven't seen many people use it or if you really want to push, you can either throw the nade of the door and listen to the sound if there is anyone on the stairs or you can throw it and push it at the same time Simple Okay, so now I will talk about how to push this side of the elbow and I'm gonna go through a couple of scenarios which might happen to you. So starting wise, you can open the door, uh, I usually open this one. Jump through, see if there is anyone on the corner or on the stairs. Or running through, same as the other side. If you don't see anyone, um, and the doors are open. You should definitely chuck an aid in. Listen. Listen if there is anyone moving. If not, probably there is no one. And you can quickly pick this this side and uh, check if there is any enemies nearby. 
So if you actually decide to fight a person which is on the stairs, you don't really have to push them because there is too many risks. Uh, a person might come from here or there might be a group of people. You might just bait them by a couple of shots or shout something. Piece of shit! People usually tend to push the stairs to this box and when they actually come here, you will see, you will be able to see the top of their head and uh, if you're quick enough, you can easily kill them. Okay, let's talk about pushing the actual elbow. So if you know for a fact there is a person behind this box or in this area, I would say the best thing to do is to check a nade of the metal bar and um, just make them move away because you're at a huge disadvantage fighting in this position. So you simply check a nade of the metal bar which uh, makes them run away. And in case if you hear they're pushing you instead of running away, you can quickly peek and shoot them. So after the net explodes, I usually check the second one. And at this moment I can I can peek and uh, see where the enemy is and um, just fight them. This is a good position to wait for enemy at. So if you decide to fight here, that's totally fine. But in case if you want to push, feel free to check an aid further. Push at the same time. Chuck one more nade to make people uh, move further. And at this moment, you need to you need to chuck a couple of good nades. You need to clear this location right here, which will make it easier for you to push. Because if you throw the nade right here and push this area, people will have to run to the right, and uh, their head's gonna be open. And um, you will be able to kill them. Okay boys, I think more or less we're done with the location. I think uh, to end this video I will show you my favorite position and uh, a fun and useful fact about this location as well. So basically this is my go-to position if people push me from that side. I always jump on the box and wait for them to push. People don't usually expect you from here, and this position is not that easy to pre-fire. And uh, if they chuck a couple of nades in front of you, you can always hide behind the box and you'll be totally fine. Unless the nade actually comes behind the box or to the side. So a useful fact about this area that there is actually a grenade box right here and if you have time always please check it because uh, every nade counts. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching this video and um, I'll see you in the next one.